as you go through the workouts? Uh, Honestly, you know, it's really basically about coming in, you know, just doing things that I do well, you know, just playing hard, uh, competing in every drill, um, you know, just getting out there, you know, it's, it's not really one thing that I want to try to showcase, you know, it's just, you know, come in and already make sure that I'm doing the things that I already do good, you know, and just keep improving on those. Thoughts on the workout as well, altitude, all that? Um, I felt like it was a good workout, you know, I felt like we really got here and uh, we really got out there. Um, you know, it's definitely tough being at this altitude, you know, something that you're not used to, um, something that you don't have in your training to go through every day, you know, but I feel like we definitely got in here and got out there, you know, even though we haven't been accustomed to these uh, altitude changes. What's your shooting range now and what do you think it can be given some time to work on? Um, I'm constantly working on the 15 to 7 foot, 17 foot jumper. Uh, I feel like I'm definitely knocking that down more consistently than I was uh, on the college level. And you know, there's no telling uh, what my range could be. Um, I had a chance to, uh, in the summer be able to step out and shoot the three ball in college. So you know, with a lot of work time and training and more repetitions, I feel like you know I, I will be able to extend my range out to the three point line. You know, it's just all about reps and working at it. You were the, uh, I believe the first recipient of the Carl Malone Award for Best Power Forward. He's kind of well known in these parts. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, it, it was a great feeling, you know, actually to be up there and accept that award and, you know, just be able to talk to him and kind of get some insight and, and knowledge on the game that, you know, he's played multiple years of and been so successful at, you know. So it's, uh, it was honestly and truly a blessing and, you know, just got to keep working from then on. Was there something that he said that really just stood out to you? Um, he said, you know, he said, play with the same passion and energy that you have every night, you know. Um, when, you, when you're in a game situation or in practice situation, you know, let, let's make your presence be known. When you look at people like Paul Millsap and, you know, some of the six foot six to six foot eight ish type pop, power forwards in the league, do you draw a comparison to, to what you want to be or to, to, to their games? Um, you know, I feel like everybody has somebody that they want to be like in the game, you know, but like I said, it's more so just me bringing a different thing to the game that I do well, you know, and that's me playing hard every possession, you know, playing with so much passionate, passionate energy uh, all game, you know, uh, doing all the dirty work, the banging and the bruising, you know, so it's just about doing what I do best. I have heard comparisons of people, you know, uh, in the NBA that I haven't compared to, you know, which are definitely uh, great blessings and, you know, tre tremendously great compliments. But like I said, it, it's about making sure you stay true to yourself and the and stuff that you bring to the game. What's it like to shatter a backboard? Uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, I, I, I was blessed. I was blessed and uh, able to be able to take down three. So oh, you took down three. Yeah. Did that same year in high school? Or? No, I did one in high school. Uh, I did two um, this past summer. Uh, going into my junior year, I did one in Florida, down at uh, Hillsborough Community College, and I did one in Cincinnati at uh, I forgot the name of uh, the the college gym we played in. Both of them was like. Well, one of them was a summer league game in Cincinnati, and the other one was uh, playing pickup down with uh, some of the pro guys, uh, John Henson and them guys down in Florida. So you should probably wear like a warning tag when you go in the gym. Yeah, right? yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a technique to break a? Nah, you know, it, it, it both majority of the time it happened. You know, it's surprising. Um, it, it's definitely a great feeling afterwards. It, after it not happened, but you know, it's not really a technique. You know, uh, majority of the time, uh, both of the times, honestly, I was just winning up doing basic normal dunks. You know, and just they happened to shatter. When you look at um, yourself through the mock drafts and you look at how you fluctuate from, you know, some people think that maybe you can sneak into the late lottery, others have you going late, later on the first round. What do you think of that and, and how much of a premium does it place on these workouts for you? Uh, you know, it really doesn't. Um, I don't pay attention to the mock drafts because on draft night anything can happen. You know, it's just the same thing as NFL draft. On any given night, you know, teams can trade up for you, you know, teams can make calls and, you know, a lot of switches can be made, you know, so I don't pay attention to those type of things. That's not for me to worry about. Um, I'm, I'm with a great agency with uh, Rich Paul and Clutch and they definitely put me in the best situations uh, to succeed. So, you know, that's not more so the things that I'm worried about. I just look, I just look to come in every workout, compete, and, you know, stick to the basketball side of it, make sure that I'm handling the things on the court. You know, the off-the-court stuff, I got a great agency, and they'll get the job done. How comfortable are you chasing guys around defensively on the three-point line? Uh, I'm fine with it. Um, I've been working uh, with another guy in my agency who's also in this draft, Trey Lyle. So being able to, you know, guard him, he's going to be one of those guys that's used as the kind of three position in the NBA. So being able to guard him and stand in front of him, I feel like I've definitely gotten a lot better uh, defensively being able to guard guys off the bounce.
weird working out with somebody that went to a rival school like that? Uh, I mean, it, it's not, you know. Um, that's more so the things that's on college terms. Um, yeah, I went to Louisville, he went to Kentucky. You know, that's more the rivalry that you keep in school type things. But, you know, outside of it, it's a whole different world. You know, it's a whole different ball game. Uh, it's all about getting to the, the next level, and we both are trying to be become great players in the NBA. So. I mean, it's, it's not, honestly, it doesn't bother me. Like I said, that's more so the college thing, but we're not in college anymore. I know uh, you, you just said that you don't follow the mock drafts, but Lyle's a guy that also falls in the same range. Is it helpful working out against a guy that could be in the same you know, draft range as you? Um, it, it, it goes without saying, honestly. Um, like I said, I know I don't pay attention to it. I'm pretty sure he doesn't as well. You know, we just go in the gym every day and look to compete and get out there and make each other better, you know, because we, we feel like, you know, we're, we're one of the best agencies there is in the game. Um, they definitely put us in the best situation in training, um, eating right, you know, making sure that we're getting our rest, you know. So we definitely are doing the things that we need to do both on the court and off the court. And, you know, when the lottery comes, uh, we let the chips fall where they may, you know, and I, I just feel like, you know, whatever team that I go to, you know, they're definitely going to get a, a player that's just looking to come in and work from day one and just looking to, you know, buy into the team's program and definitely be all about the team and just making making sure I get myself better because it's not only going to make me better, but it's going to make our team better.